Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how much it costs to apply to dental school. I'm Connor, and I'm a dental student studying at Roseman University's College of Dental Medicine. If you're new here, thanks for checking out my channel. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you aren't new here, thanks for coming back. Being a dentist can be a very high paying career, but that doesn't come without a significant investment. Many pre-dental students know how expensive dental school has gotten. And for some of you, that might be a turnoff and a reason to not pursue a career in dentistry. All of this crazy expense starts with applying to dental school. So I'm going to walk you through how much it cost me to apply to 16 schools back in 2018, as well as give you an idea of what you can expect to spend as you apply. For those of you who aren't really interested in the complete breakdown of my expenses for applying to dental school, the grand total for what I spent applying to dental school in 2018 was $5,971.17, give or take. This starts with taking the DAT and the study materials all the way up to putting down my deposit to reserve my seat in my class. The first part of the application is taking the DAT. Without taking the DAT, you aren't going to dental school. So, like I said, I spent $360 for the study materials, and the test itself costs $460. That takes the total to $820, just for taking the DAT. Next is the application itself. When I applied, it cost $102, no, <clears throat> It cost $245 for the first application and $102 for every additional school after that. Applying to 16 schools brought the total for my primary application to $1,775. When I was applying, I spent a total of $21 for all of my transcripts. So that was $5 for a transcript that had my concurrent enrollment credits on it. $5 for the transcript from the community college that I did one year at before transferring to my university that I graduated from. Then I had the transcript from my university that I graduated from, and I also needed an electronic copy of that that had all of my grades, all of my credits, so that I could input that onto my AdSAS application. The average cost for a transcript is about five dollars so that should give you a pretty good idea of what to expect after your primary application is completed and submitted next is the secondary applications and these vary from school to school some of them include multiple essays that you need to write and others are just a straight up money grab and they only require an additional fee the secondary fees for the schools i applied will be shown on the screen. The average secondary fee for me personally was $80. So some of them are a little bit less, some of them significantly more, but that is a pretty good estimate. Congratulations, you've submitted your application and you've been invited to interview at a school. Now is when things can get really expensive pretty quickly. Depending on how far you live from the school you've been invited to interview, will drastically change how much that interview will cost you. Things add up really quickly, from airfare and hotels to food and transportation. It gets pretty expensive. My first interview was with Detroit Mercy, and I unknowingly shot myself in the foot when I had this interview. So I was all high strung and nervous about missing classes, which don't be. Miss class if you need to, but I took a red eye to Detroit, so I landed at 1 a.m. Apparently everyone flies into Detroit after midnight, and so the wait for a Lyft or an Uber was like two hours, and the lazy Connor had procrastinated a homework assignment that was due at midnight, and so I had to be sure that I could get to my hotel, check in, and have enough time to start and complete my assignment 
so that I could get it submitted on time. And so I ended up paying $66 for a private car to drive me from the airport to my hotel. Hindsight, it was not worth it. I should have either not taken a red eye, done the assignment before, or just not done the assignment or done it late. Don't be like me, just get your homework done and you can avoid all of that. The total for my hotel was $139 plus a free cookie upon check-in, so that was awesome. And my food for that trip was $30 because airport food is expensive. I spent the $66 for the private car from the airport to the hotel, and then from the airport, no, from my hotel to the school, and then from the school back to the airport was $17 for a lift. And future Connor, who edits this, will put the total for the Detroit interview here. My second interview was with Roseman, and that is where I am currently at school. And because I live locally, I had to pay for gas, and that was it. It cost me about $7. My last interview was with UNLV, and I had already been accepted to Detroit Mercy and Roseman when I interviewed here, so my wife and I decided to celebrate being accepted to dental school, and we had a little weekend getaway for this interview. So it was more expensive than interviews need to be, but we had a great time and it was super worth it. We spent $114-ish driving down there and back. We spent $379 for our hotel room for a couple of nights, and Food was crazy expensive because we ate at my absolute favorite restaurant, Joe's Stone Crab. It's in Caesar's Palace. You probably get this a lot. This isn't the real Caesar's Palace, is it? What do you mean? Did, um, did Caesar live here? Um, no. I don't think so. And it is pricey, but oh my gosh, everything there is out of this world, it's so good. I wish there was one closer. So our food for this trip was about $300 because we ate at Joe's twice. And sometimes you just gotta treat yourself, you know what I mean? The total for all of my interviews combined was $1,063.23. As you can see, each of my interviews cost me a drastically different amount. So just keep that in mind. After all of that, you've been offered an acceptance, which is the moment you've been absolutely waiting for. Well done, you deserved it, obviously. You must have been a great applicant. And it's time to put down your deposit to save your seat. Deposits can be anywhere from $500 up to $1,500 or so. My deposit for Roseman was $1,000 $26 including tax and that is all of the expenses that I had from taking the DAT all the way to my deposit to reserve my spot in my class. I hope that this gives you a good idea of how much you can expect to spend when you are applying this upcoming cycle. Some of the prices have changed a little bit. The cost for the initial application is $251 and each additional school is $108. So not a huge increase in price, but those few dollars can add up. So keep an eye on that. If this video has been helpful, go ahead and like it and share it with those friends you've got that are also applying to dental school. And I hope that you have learned something and I'm just rambling at this point. Let me know if you made it to the end of this video by sticking some weird emoji down in the comments, but keep it appropriate. And I will catch you in the next video. See ya!